What's up, everybody? Tommy Hayden with Combat Matrix here, and I'm here with our week 22 highlight reel challenge winner, I think, yeah, Campbell like Sims. Campbell, how you doing? Yeah, I'm good. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Nice, easy way to make some money. <laughs> uh, I remember being a not long ago, years ago, when I lived in on the soy and had like no AC, no nothing. I would have done anything to make like 2,000 bar, and now like now there is a simple, easy way to make 2,000 bar. Like, <laughs> upload a video. And yeah, it was that easy. Yeah. yeah, pretty simple. And it was your first ever MMA fight. That was the highlight reel that you used. Yeah, my first ever MMA fight. Uh, a little bit easy, but it was good fun. And yeah, hopefully some more fights soon. Well, here's the thing, right? Is even though it was your first ever MMA fight, you got to experience a MMA fight with a certain set of rules that most people, including myself, have never gotten to experience. And Personally, I would never want to experience it. So how was it fighting with the original UFC rules and bare knuckle? Yeah, it was just, well, it was my first fight, so I can't really <laughs> compare it to anything. But yeah, it was fun. Tried not to punch too much. Just people were warning me not to break my hand. So yeah, I just elbowed him a couple times and finished it. Yeah, you, you cut him up a couple times, actually. Yeah, felt that was the weirdest thing for me, cutting some of my elbow. Like, obviously, I've done a like, grappling my whole life, but... I haven't really elbowed someone in the head before, so that felt fun. So, just out of curiosity, with your first elbows, how did it feel? Like, you said it felt weird. Like, can you try and explain it? Uh, I don't know. First, one of the ones I dropped, I felt something crack. And I was worried. I was like, was that my elbow? Do, does my elbow crack? And then I, I, as I pulled my elbow back, I saw the blood. I was like, okay, that was his head. That's what, that's what <laughs> I felt. Uh, yeah, definitely a, definitely an interesting feeling. Yeah. And did you, just out of curiosity, did you feel the skin tear underneath when you threw the elbow? Maybe. I haven't really thought of what it felt like. I remember it just felt like I've never felt that feeling it's just, before. Yeah. It's just a weird one, right? Yeah, I, I ask because I can still remember the first time that I cut somebody with an elbow. And I can still remember the first time I elbowed somebody with an elbow. Two different, same fight, but two different elbows. Yeah. <laughs> and like... Yeah, it's just a really weird feeling, uh, yeah. right? Yeah. So before the, before the camera got turned on, we were talking about how difficult it is for you now yeah. to try and find follow-up fights. Yeah, I guess, well, I technically still am 0-0, so I guess it's t not, not a good fight for many people to take the 0-0 high-level grappler. So, uh, yeah, but if anyone's out there, please fight me. <laughs> I'm ready. He's asking. He wants to fight. He wants to get hit by you and wants to hit you too. Exactly. <laughs> Plus, it's a good name to have on your resume. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah, definitely. Because if they do beat you, then they've just beat a high-level grappler. Exactly. Yeah. But that's also what makes everybody scared of you. <laughs> Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully, I get a fight soon and get in there again. Yeah. So, where would you like to fight? I'm not opposed to anything, really. Just anywhere. Anywhere. Anywhere at this point. Anywhere. Guys, anywhere at this point. And then, uh, what? so like now that you've had your first experience with it, you obviously had a very heavy, uh, grapple-heavy fight. What are? Have you changed anything about your sparring? Are you looking to expand on maybe your striking aspects a little bit? Like, what are you currently doing in the training room to prepare for the next potential fight? Oh, uh, yeah, just working on my striking. Obviously, that's... Not the strongest part of my game yet, but yeah, working a lot of striking. It's improved a lot, so yeah, hopefully next fight I can show a little bit of striking as well. Well, in, in this fight, uh, you kicked out Kyokin's legs twice with uh, low low leg kicks. Yeah, that was a... Uh, yeah, I've just been practicing kicks. Practicing a couple things I got to do, but there's definitely more things I've been working on. Now. Want he just wants to have it. more fun. More fun. More fun. <laughs> I love it. So ha have you thought about maybe entering the Muay Thai world or kickboxing world just so it takes the scariness of you being a badass grappler out of it for opponents or any uh, thoughts there? Not really. Still want to go MMA. I thought about maybe having a Muay Thai fight or something just for the experience, but yeah, still looking for the MMA. That's fair enough. I mean, the good part about Phuket, though, is if you did want to do a Muay Thai fight, there's plenty of places around, so makes it easy right very easy yeah and how long do you think it will take until uh until you get that itch enough like if you had to forecast like not getting a fight for six months would you be like 
Okay, I'll take a Muay Thai fighter too. Yeah, maybe six to six to eight months. Yeah. And then yeah, I'd have to go do something. So the goal is get you a MMA fight within that time frame somewhere. Would, in there. Yeah. Hopefully a lot sooner. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hopefully a lot sooner, yeah. but it's so difficult, right? Oh yeah, very. Yeah. So this is the thing with MMA. It's different in Muay Thai because in Muay Thai they don't care about how much you win. They care about you being active. Well, in MMA, if you lose once, you're in trouble. Yeah. yeah. And I guess, yeah, because just coming from jiu-jitsu is always show up and compete. Yeah. Like, you just sign up for a comp. I guess you're not getting punched in the face, but it's just sign up and compete. But records don't matter and stuff, but now there's records involved and punching people in the face. People are trying to, yeah, be a lot smarter, which I, I understand, but it's also annoying as well. Very annoying. Yeah. I get it. Yeah, I went two years and I had nine fights canceled yeah. on me. It was a, it was a very. But I'm lucky thing. in the sense, I guess, they're just not getting made at the moment. I've had friends tell me like, wait until you have like, day before weigh-in cancellations and stuff like this. That's even more annoying. So at least just I'm not getting prepared and it's a last-minute pull-out. It does happen yeah. and it happens quite often. Yeah. It's an unfortunate part of the industry, but. I mean, at least now you've gotten, you've dipped your toes in the industry, so now it's time to jump on in. Yeah. And uh, I'm really excited to see where you end up. We we talked about a couple places. One championship, they obviously have fights almost every week now. Yeah. And then uh, some of their larger cards, they've got a lot of, like, I think this next card this weekend is very MMA heavy. Yeah. And uh, so hopefully they'll be doing more. But then you've got some promotions over in Japan. Rising and deep, Rising, yeah. yeah, that you can talk to and see what you can get from there. But then, of course, you got places out of the Middle East, UAE Ro- Warriors, Warriors. Yeah. yeah, which hopefully you can get on something like that. Yeah, is that is that one of the goals? Yeah, one any of these shows, one UAE Warriors, Risen. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm ready for any of them. Right, he's ready for any of you. Any of you, he's coming for you, MMA world. Yeah, there we go. There's the flex flexed on you all right man well campbell super important part of this you won the highlight reel challenge so i've got a combat matrix t-shirt for you right here and the most important part two thousand baht there you are sir yeah and thank you very much for using you know the platform really appreciate it Uh, thanks for uploading your videos and hopefully soon we'll have a place for you to sell your videos as well Hopefully. Yeah. And uh, like I said, guys, everyone's always like, oh, there's no money in fighting. It's hard here, hard there. It's like, just upload a video. Get your friends to sign up. Like it. Easy money every week. Yep. Every, every single week. Every single week. <laughs> uh, anyways, Campbell, thank you very much for your thank time, you. man. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah, I look forward to seeing you fight again. Yeah. Hopefully I get to be ringside or cage side similar to what i was in this first fight but yeah thank you thank you bro remember guys combat matrix sign up see you guys Combat Matrix.